This is uh, Jerry Adams. I'm, I'm just about to leave Stormont Castle. And let me say, first of all, a very happy Mother's Day to all our sisters out there. This has been a very long week for Irish Republicans and for other people who want to see fairness and equality because this is the week that we buried Martin McGuinness. And I was here last Monday when I got news that Martin was going to die. And we went and we buried Martin and we came back here to talk to our friends in the DUP and all the other parties and the two governments. And we've been here uh, for the last few days. I'm sad to report that there has been no substantive progress on the key issues. The DUP have had a minimalist approach to Irish language rights, to marriage equality, to the Bill of Rights, to all of the other issues around governance and the need for a step change. And when, when Martin resigned over the RHI scandal, he said there can be no return to the status quo. His position was vindicated by the election and everything has changed. So unionism has to ask questions of itself and of its leaders. Unionism is, in my opinion, at a crossroads. Whether it embraces everyone and upholds the rights of everyone and implements agreement which it entered into to deliver on that, or it doesn't. The British government also has its responsibilities and its obligations. Now, as an Irish Republican, I want to see the British government completely removed from our affairs. But it did sign up to agreements on legacy issues, and it hasn't kept those. The Irish government is obliged as a co-equal guarantor of the Good Friday and other agreements to uphold those agreements. It is my strong view that all of these issues will be dealt with in time. And those of us who value the legacy of Martin McGuinness, including I think some unionists, and including I think some members of the DUP, need to be mindful that there can be no equivocation, no qualification, no conditionality. People do have rights. This is all about rights. We have agreements which enshrine those rights, and there will be no return to the status quo.